Hey divas and gents, I'm coming to you with Butterbee Design Butterbee Scraps Design Team Project. <laughs> that is what I get for talking too dang fast. Anyways, <clears throat> let me go ahead and show you the stuff that I recently received in my DT package. In fact, okay, there's way too much glare going on. These I love, and these are bendable those are ridiculous right you could easily cut here and cut here and use those and tuck them under stuff but these are thin so you can bend or cut amazing 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 I love them so I got those and then I got these ones in gold these are super cute these are also pliable and you could cut through them then I got these ones. These are in bronze. These are also bendable. And I like right here because you can put a cameo, a cabochon, whatever you want. Or you could easily cut this part off and cut this part off. And then use the middle on top of something else. There's holes here if you wanted to hang charms. If you wanted to use it this way. I mean, you'll see what I do with them. It's endless, I tell ya. Okay, and then, oh yeah, these are also new. But I also use these on my design team projects. These cute little handmade with love. Super. You know, you know you guys all have to have something like that in your stash. Okay. So, this is all the stuff that I used in my design team project. I made embellishments, FYI. Instead, I did not do jewelry. I did embellishments. So these are the gold clothespins. I love it because they're already gold. You did not need to paint them. You don't even need to add paper on them. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I try to, whatever's quicker. Then I use these really pretty ivory um, acrylic flower bead caps. I use them also in this fuchsia color and also in this purple color. Then I used all these little doodads. And I have these somewhere else and these ones. Okay, so I use these little white ones, these resin ones, these resin ones, and then you see they're blank in the middle. So what I did is I used the SS12 pointy back, and this is clear AB. Okay, and camera focus. So these ones I put in the middle of these, okay. And then I used these really pretty white ones and the pink ones. So I used those. Um, I used these bales. She, uh, Monique carries bales in bronze and in silver. So I, I used six of these. Okay, I used these really pretty rhinestones that I constantly am over the top about. And I used, mm, I used the, six millimeter and four millimeter clear beads. And I used these, both of these head pins in silver and in bronze. I used these two bead caps. This is my absolute favorite all time one. And then I use these ones right here that are a little more flatter. You could use these as flowers too. You don't have to use them as bead caps. And then I used these gold, these little bronze starting to, this, the light is starting to go down now and I try to get this up earlier. Uh, okay, well I'll show them to you in a minute. And then I used almost all of this chain that I had left. And then Monique is now carrying glass tiles. I have had a lot of you ladies ask me about where to get glass tiles. Now Monique carries them. She has them in these tile sizes. And let me tell you the measurements of these ones. They're much smaller than the ones I had. Yeah, they're three quarters of an inch all the way around. Because if you remember, I did these little dangles on these glass ones. And do you see the difference in size? Okay, so these are like what? Yeah, they're about an inch and a quarter. So these are three quarters of an inch. You get 
I used four, you get eight of them in a package. Okay. And then I used all of these ones. She also has the domino tiles or the domino ones that are glass also. And I used all of them because there's four in a pack. Okay, so I used all of those. Now let me show you. Now the um I'll show you these ones first. <clears throat> okay. Let me get the light actually. I didn't think I was gonna need the light as much because it's not actually dark out. But let's just have it regardless. Now the paper that I used on um here is that that Valentine one from Hobby Lobby that everybody was wanting. <laughs> I was like, you can use them. Okay, let me see. Yeah, it's about an inch and three quarters, almost two inches long. Okay, so it's all glass. I love them. I'm so happy that Monique carried these in the store. And then there's the little embellishments that I put on there. I used glossy accents to put these on. On the paper, I used glossy accent. I just put it all on the back of the glass and then I laid it on the paper and then I quickly pushed because you can get bubbles in here. So I'll always run my finger over like this to make sure there's no bubbles. And the bales I put on with E6000. And you only need a little bit. When you put them on the bales, you don't want to put a lot because you push down, everything comes out. So you don't need a lot. And plus E6000, it goes a long ways. So you see how you can easily use this as a pendant as a necklace, but these ones, I'm just gonna put um, a split ring and a lobster claw and I'm gonna hang it as a charm. Okay, so this is what I did with this one. And these, this one right here is from my stash and the silver bead caps on all of them are from my stash. And these little tiny four millimeter rondelles are from my stash also. And the pearl. And the milk glass. <laughs> okay, how about all of these right here are from my stash, but all the ones on top are from Butterbee. Those are the four millimeter clear. And then you see how stinking cute is that? Handmade with love. And then there's my the little rhinestone that I love putting on things so much. So I put that on a different split ring and then hung it on that split ring so that it would lay flat this way as opposed to the other way. But see how stinking cute that is? That would be super pretty as a pendant. I still could do that. <laughs> okay, and then the, here is this one. And then those are the three that did not have rhinestones that I put rhinestones in. And it's a mixture pack, so I used... Um, the purple, the light purple, and that pink in there, and the dark purple. Did I use this dark purple one? No, I sure did not. Okay, I used just the two pinks and the purple. <laughs> and then I changed it up here. Okay, how do I have it? Here we go. How stinking cute and fun. And I love it because in Monique's store for stuff like this, I if, if you always notice, I use very little of my own stash when I'm creating. Because the chain, the pin, the split rings, the even the rondelles, the beads, there's bead caps, you name it. She has it in there to create everything. So very seldom do I even have to use my own stash. See that Valentine's paper went a long way, huh? You don't need to use it just for Valentine's Day. Okay. So I just did one pearl and then those are the six millimeter clear. I love these. They're so fun. And then here's where I use the dark purple. I said, I know I used it. The dark purple, the light, the lavender and a, a light pink. Look at how pretty the image is. And then I used all three colors. And the ivory, the fuchsia, and the purple. Okay, so these are the four that I made. I love, 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 love. 
love making these type of things. They're super fun, super easy. Oh, I love it. And they're quick. Okay, so those are the four domino glass tiles. And then I went ahead and did, here's how I did the smaller ones. I put the little tiny square on top of here. I stuck this gold filigree on top with um, glossy accent, but I put this on with E6000 right in the middle. Okay, and then I made this little charm. Let's get this to focus, there we go. Everything on here is from Butterbee, excluding this really champagne looking color um, crystal bead. That's for my stash, but everything else is from Butterbee, even the cute little butterfly. See, I love it, and I make sure to always that not to have anything in the way of when you're using your thumb to open them, and that's just cute to put on little goodie bags. Okay, so you see that's a cute little angel writing on the chalkboard. Then this one right here is the butterfly with the heart and just one little embelly. All of the charm dangles are the same. Okay, so. I don't need to like break it down for y'all. And then there's another cute little angel on this glass tile and another little doodad. And then here's the same butterfly in that. And then I did this one with this cute little angel. Same thing. So see how stinking, these were absolutely really fast for me to do. When it comes to doing charms and dangles, I'm actually pretty, pretty fast with it. Okay, so these are the four that I made. I could still add, I might still add little blings in the corner for my own stash if I feel the need. Or I could add more here. I just don't like to put too much where you need to open it because then you end up breaking things and then it's just no longer as cute. So these are my little embellishments that I made for Butterbee Scraps. Of course, all of Monique's information will be below. And I did post her link below, and I hope you guys subscribe to her because she does have um, random giveaways that she does, and she just did one recently, and you guys want to get in on those. She does really good stuff. Um, so here is my design team project for the month of April, my first one. I do have more to come. So I will see you guys later. You have an amazing and awesome Friday and I will see you guys uber soon. Bye.